Hey, everybody. I hope you are having a great weekend. I hope you have a good last week up to break. So uh, to recap what we've done uh, this term, again, um, time between Thanksgiving and reading break next week. It's time to work really, really hard. And I just want to say like kudos on coming back and having a really strong collective average for mini test number four, 79% uh, average, which I believe is either the like the tippiest top or the second highest, uh, and 84% uh, median. So what this means uh, to me and how I interpret it is that um, looking at the range, 13 to 100%, and the average is 79, with the uh, median being 84, is that we still have some students who are struggling in this class, and therefore, um, you know, the average has shifted down. So really seeing that kind of that left tail so um, if that's you, please do uh, consider using the reading break. Um, consider, you know, you know, seeing seeing where you're struggling. Uh, and if it's you and you just had a bad test and it's the one that you plan to drop, cool. And if it's you and, um, you know, whether it's like 13% or they're not passing or you didn't reach your goals on this test, whatever those were, listen, I, I never try to, to assume your goals. Truthfully, I've seen people cry at an A and I've been seeing people like give me jumping hugs with a C plus. So like, or C, like they're, you know, like, yes, I passed. Like, absolutely. So I celebrate you. I celebrate your goals. Uh, no judgments, no shame, no blame. Um, if you are not where your goals are at, evaluate, make a plan. Uh, if you need help with that plan, uh, please consider uh, booking some Hanley office hours this week. Uh, you know, feel free to post to the discussion board, uh, create a conversation uh, with us, uh, your peers. Um, what else? Um, reflect, uh, reflect over reading break, make that plan, really. Um, and again, no blame, no shame, uh, but really do consider what you're going to do uh, between now uh, and the end of the term with mini test number five uh, coming up and you were 50% final. Uh, not to be uh, a downer, but um, friendly reminder that you need to pass the final to pass the course. So sometimes, um, and you know, I was definitely guilty of it too. I would do these calculations, especially in my fourth year of university, where I'm like, if I didn't even write the final, I would pass. Or, you know, I just need to have 10% of the final and I can pass. And then, you know, you're still going for that like higher end sometimes. But, uh, you know, you're kind of like, you're happy that you really just have to go show up and like write your name on it. This test, um, because it is the only in-person um, evaluation method, uh, and because that is kind of what the collective of instructors has agreed upon, uh, it is you need to pass the final to pass the exam. So uh, that's some extra motivation to kind of look at the next few chapters. And honestly, I feel like this course gets better. Uh, so I feel like, especially after this week, although I like this week for a couple of reasons, it's short, it's liabilities. Uh, like we all kind of inherently know what a liability is. It's like, ugh. Um, <laughs> it's kind of like that thing we don't want to do, <laughs> the thing that happened in the past. So, and then I feel like, then we get to talk about some equity, which is always fun. And then we get to do some fun calculations and start looking at some financial statement analysis, some ratios, uh, and really getting into like the accountant-y, uh, accountant finance-y, uh, strategic-y uh, items, the stuff that like, yeah, you have to kind of build through what we've been doing to get there. So pretty excited about that. Plus it's examinable. So like whether you inherently love it and you're excited or you're like, okay, this is important because of immediate consequences, whatever your job. Uh, friendly reminder that um, next week is reading break. Um, so please do consider taking a break, um, even if it's some of it. Uh, I know that when I was in uni, I worked a lot. And truthfully, like while people were like, well, that's not a break. It was a break to me because I could like just switch up. I could make some cash. I could, you know, exercise a bit more. I could do some other things. And I still kind of, you know, trekked along on my goals. It's just nice to kind of use a different kind of energy source. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's pretty much all. I had a pretty, pretty like low things of things I want to talk about. I just want to sit here, connect with you, um, say hello. And yeah, I will, uh, no video, no videos uh, next week. We are taking a break, break, break. But uh, anything that does come in uh, during next week uh, will be uh, addressed Sorry, like not this week, our final week with liabilities, not week 10, I believe. Um, but anything that comes back, um, 
kind of during the reading break. We're going to be pausing, so no office hours, uh, no discussion board posts. Um, I'll be very minimally uh, checking my email, kind of just looking for, um, you know, any emergencies sort of things every few days. Um, but uh, it's important uh, for me to kind of take take some time as well because uh, we we gotta I gotta. I got to lead by example or else what the heck am I doing here? So um, that said, I do feel like I need to balance it off with being here just in case there's an emergency. So yeah, and then we come back and we have like a steady sprint to the final. I normally would say sprint to the final. Um, and it would normally feel like a hundred meter dash if say like our exam was on December like, 5th, but it's on the 18th. So that's more like a... Not even two. I feel like that's a 400 meter. Like that's a decent pace, but like, you know, um, if you don't pace it right, you're, you're going to feel it. So uh, I want you to feel it, but in a good way uh, that like, you know, where you run through the finish line where you like collapse at it. Okay. Um, I wanted to end with something happy. So what is happy? Listen, um, if you're listening to this, thank you for making it uh, this far. I really, really do appreciate you. Uh, I've had a couple of kind notes this week and people like it is not necessary, but it is very much appreciated. Um, you know, just saying, hey, I have no reason to to email you except to say like your positivity comes through. So I'm really happy that um, that the fact that I care can come through in these videos, that the way that I structure uh, the videos, the examples, uh, and that, uh, you know, you can feel the enthusiasm because I really do want to be here for you and I want you to feel supported. And um, so thank you uh, for those notes uh, that I have received. Um, yeah, you guys rock. Uh, so people, uh, I hope you have a fabulous week. I hope you have a fabulous and fun reading week and we will talk to you when you get back. Okay, bye.